Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 15th of July, 2021. Taking a look at Cardano. Continued breakdown here on Cardano, uh, moving lower. Really, that's the story across the board. High volume node here that we're trading just above at 122. Um, looks like it's going to be broken down lower. Uh, 120 has held as a pretty good support zone, as you can see by the volume profile. But if that doesn't hold, then we are more than likely going to drop down to that 84 to 94 support zone that we've talked about. Um, specifically, the uh, probably 90 cent level is the one to look at because that is the 50% uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement and the 100% Fibonacci extension. And then below that, we get to the next uh, high volume node between uh, 66 cents and um, 72 cents. And within that range, we we see uh, the 1618 extension all the way up to the um, 618 retracement. So that range goes from 65 to 71 cents. And then below that, we have ultimately the 2021 volume point of control, which is down at uh, 34 to 35 cents. And that is all the way, um, I believe that is actually the the 100% <laughs> Fibonacci retracement, basically the price level that I started the retracement level at. And that is on the daily chart. When we look at the daily chart uh, oscillator levels, you can see that the RSI is now, uh, uh, failed to hold 40 uh, thus far. I mean, it, there's five hours left roughly, or four hours and 50 minutes um, in the current daily candle at the time of this recording, which is 3.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, We've dropped down below that final oversold level in the uh, RSI. Uh, so the bull market um, support levels no longer exist. That means we got to shift them over to the bear market. And that, this might be a little premature to do that. And when we look at the bear market oversold levels, those are 30 and 20. Um, and for those of you asking the question, well, what are the levels in the RSI in a bear market that are the overbought levels? It is 55 and 65. And so to in order to test 30 or 20, I mean, one just has to assume and just kind of gauge the price action and, and know that it's, it's going to move below $1.20 to get to for the RSI to get down to that 30 range. And then more than likely have to drop below the, that to get down to the 20 level, if that's what's going to happen. The composite index is an interesting zone here. I mean, it's near a historical support level, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but otherwise it could go lower. And then we see the percent B um, is dipping down lower too. And, you know, I mentioned this um, a couple days ago, I think that, you know, when the RSI was above 40 and if the percent B did drop below 0.2, that was going to trigger some strong selling pressure. Now, let's look at the weekly chart and see what's happening. So on the weekly, uh, we're sitting right at the level 50 zone. So <clears throat> that is the first in, the, in a bull market. I'll put those levels on here. 50 and 40 are the oversold conditions in a bull market on the RSI. And so that's where we're at. We're testing that level, but it doesn't look like it's going to hold the slope there on the RSI is pretty strong. So I wouldn't um, wouldn't rely on that. Uh, and the composite index is yet to get to one of its extreme lows to signify a bounce. But I, I think you should see it come down to that negative 12 before it starts to rally again. Uh, I think a good retracement down to that 90 cent level is, is what we're going to see play out. But again, just watch this market because Cardano definitely is one of the few cryptocurrencies that could diverge from the rest of the market. And I do just want to call your attention to the lagging span and how, you know, Cardano is trading. It is the lagging span is really kind of following the contour of the con candlestick. So don't be surprised to see it dip lower um, here very soon. That does it for me from all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.